Hello friends, welcome to EduCBA's program on uh, statistics using Excel. So what are we going to do in statistics using Excel? The first assumption that we are going to make uh, when we talk about this uh, set of video series is that uh, we are not going to make you statistics experts through this course. The idea here is that you already pretty much know statistics. That's the basic assumption of this, this whole video series. And uh, what we will essentially do is that uh, uh, there are a lot of calculations when we talk about statistics. So if I may assume that you know statistics, there would be complex formulas like variance or standard deviations, uh, mean mode, etc. And uh, you know, all these things can be pretty much done very easily using Excel. So our idea is, uh, uh, is basically to how to do that in Excel. Though we will kind of also touch uh, uh, touch the basic philosophy of you know things which we are discussing and basic fundamentals, but don't take this as an advanced uh, uh, a class on statistics. Take it as uh, a class on Excel, which also teaches statistics. So that's that's the basic assumption. So let's start off with this uh, course and uh, let me jot down uh, the kind of topics that we are going to discuss. The first thing that we are going to look at is the descriptive statistics. So uh, descriptive statistics is nothing but uh, you know understanding your data and uh, essentially when we talk about understanding your data we are saying that uh, we want to look at the shape of the data. So uh, shape of the data would include uh, something like how the data is placed, where the majority of the data actually lies. So when we talk about statistics in this context we are talking about mean, mode, uh, median and uh, its associated dispersion and uh, things like standard deviation and variance are included in descriptive statistics. So that's that's what we will going to discuss when we talk about descriptive statistics. Number two, we look at what is correlation and how it can be uh, uh, done using Excel. So correlation is nothing but how one variable is related to others and it can be done extremely easily using Excel. So that we look at that part as well. Number three is uh, how do we go about making moving averages for a specific kind of a data. So moving averages essentially can help us uh, smooth the trend and uh, also uh, pretty much help us in terms of forecasting. So we'll also look at that aspect as well. Number four which is very important I guess is to look at a histogram. So histogram is uh, nothing but uh, you know uh, it identifies the shape of the data and uh, you know there's a st there's a statistical way in which you can make this a pretty much easy way using Excel and uh, you know, these are pretty much the topics that we are going to discuss and uh, let's start with the descriptive statistics as point number one.